just a friendly. All right, so yeah, so this Yoshi Falcon game you see is just a friendly match. Whatever. I think that we're waiting on a player to get back from the bathroom. The only thing I want to see in this friendly match is a sneaky dino. If I can see a sneaky dino, I'll be happy. Alright, he's in the correct percent. And the star! Oh, we didn't see the star KO. Do a sneaky dino! Oh no, he didn't he didn't even go for the ledge. And the swindle! Hashtag <laughs> worth. Oh, how about some eggs for breakfast? Eggs for lunch, eggs for dinner! Yeah, <laughs> but she may not have that. Oh, I want to see a sneaky dino. I hope Natty shows me a sneaky dino. Uh, down or into nothing. Oh! There we go! There we go! I, I challenge, I challenge any Falcon out there to incorporate that into the combo contest next Thursday. Cause that would be super duper hype. Oh man, I am so li Monkey, monkey. Not as cool as the other one. Definitely not. Monkey, tell me, are you, are you looking forward to the combo contest? I am so hyped for the combo contest. Who's your pick? Who do you think is going to take it? Who's even in there right now? Oh man, I actually only really know the names that they put on the trailer. So who's in the trailer? So in, in the trailer they mentioned Court, Mariguas, uh, Tacos, uh, and Alvin, and m at least one other piece person that I feel like Tacos I'm forgetting. Yoshi, right? uh, he plays a lot of Yoshi, yeah. I think, I think Tacos is going to do really, really well. I like Tacos as Yoshi. I've, seen, I've watched a lot of videos of him lately. Oh, yeah. All those Apex matches. Yeah, yeah. Like Isaiah. Exactly. Super Boom. Like He's, he's my like pick. His combos are amazing. He's my pick. Listen, I'm, I'm so looking forward to what Court Sensei has to offer. He's going to show us some crazy okay. crap. Another friendly? Yeah, but no, this this one's bracket, I'm pretty sure. Or no, is it is Natty still in this? Natty versus Quit Rage, yeah. Yeah, this is losers, losers quarters, or, lo or losers. I think this is losers quarters, I think. I, th I don't know if we're actually in top eight and losers yet. So we got Quit Rage playing St. Patrick's Day Kirby versus uh, Natty Bro, who's a uh, communist birthday Pikachu. So I guess like Mayday Pikachu. Oh wow, Quit Rage barely getting to the ledge in time to deny Natty the edge guard after that string. And Quit Rage starting off with a zero to death, and now he gets a shield break. Oh, but Wispy! No, I think that was Wispy. And he goes for the neutral air to kick him off. What's the edge guard? He goes for uh, for the ledge. Doesn't quite get, get there in time. Just hanging out, the back air gives him the shield stun he needs to confirm the grab. Oh, yeah, yeah he's reaching through the platform. I wonder, if we, I, I wonder if we're gonna see any bricks from, from Quit Rage. I know he likes to throw bricks out every once in a while. Maybe during Edge Guard, it would be very. Uh, ooh, uh, the back throw. Shout outs to more tech. Right now we're resetting to the neutral again. Ooh. I see Natty occasionally spacing, spacing. Ooh, a clean. Yeah. Oh, with the forward smash, kill. Yeah, plus it, 100 percent. We'll do it every time he gets Pikachu. He tries to up tilt him with invincibility, but obviously that didn't work out too well. But not, not no, no major damage. Again. Yeah, it, it looks like the approach Natty is generally taking is like he'll he'll hang out for a while and then he'll sort of just rush in. You got it. Yeah. But if at first you don't succeed, never give up. Trust your instincts. Hey man. <laughs> Shout out to Trey. All right, Nat Natty's got Kirby in an edge guard position. Can't do it. Too yeah. Low. Too much low. Yeah, Kir Kirby was too high. Oh, what the back kick? Yeah, during that recovery situation, Natty was was definitely respecting the down air, and that's why he didn't really uh, 
threaten more than he did. He could just still working from behind though. Three, three stocks to four, 41%. Definitely true. And, and you see Quit Rage is adopting a standard Kirby strategy of just aerial superiority. Stay on top. And there Natty go, goes in hard with the down air. Confirms into an edge guard. And the neutral air will keep him safe as he recovers at least. Oh, that, that up air. Oh, oh, he's and he almost makes it to the ledge. Ah, uh, not many, not many, and he was there from way downtown. <laughs> and you see there, Natty displaying. Oh, the di wins back oh. Back kick. yeah, and he di'd that back kick pretty hard too. But at that percent, it's not going to matter. So there, you saw a lot of great patience coming out from Natty. He, he's just waiting for when Crit Rage has to land. Well, yeah, he's playing very defensively and. He's taking advantage of those six, those six small yeah. jumps that Kirby has. Yeah. And, and there you go, you see. Uh, that was very questionable at the... And you see, yeah, respecting the down air. Ooh, Maybe not quite is... enough. Yeah, Quit Rage go, goes into the grab. He likes to do that. I'm not, not going to edge guard that, though. Yeah, he goes for a lot more forward throws with Kirby than, I, than you tend to see. Uh, I feel like Kirby's back throw isn't very strong. It, it's true it's not, but Kirby's back throw has a more a lower trajectory than the forward throw, which is why I think a lot of Kirby's will go for that even if uh, it's the wrong way, as it were. And the back throw. He yeah. ends up with stocks, but Pikachu's still working from behind, but yeah. that's it. And Angel Invincibility, Quit Rage not able to make much of it. Oh, he tries to get that, the back air, the back pickles of the uh, neutral. Calling the up smashes again. Oh, oh got it! Just like automatic. Automatic got three called up smashes in a row on the hipster. Natty clawing back. Definitely. And I, I think that a lot of that is just due to a lot of the great patience we're saying. Oh, that was nasty. That was just totally nasty. And you you could see the frame. Oh. And here we are. You could see the frame when Kirby's up B took him into the up smash hitbox. Yeah. That that hurt my soul. He was just barely drifting down in his up B animation. Yeah. And again, Natty's starting to go in a little. I hope he's not getting antsy on his last stock. He respected the approach there, respecting the I down think, air. I think he smells a victory and he's trying to get in aggressive now. That definitely can happen. And like that that's the sort of move that you tend to see. Ooh, that was a very Dangerous and ambitious move. Yeah, he he did he his legend visibility had, had run out. So he felt he needed to get up. Off the top platform. Very excellent waiting by Natty. That's exactly the patience you need against they're like quit rage. He gets one hit, but he's not getting down in time to follow up. Man, yeah, this this last stock has been just a real slobber knocker. Oh, and oh. Up high. I like the option by Natty. It was definitely getting around the the area that Quit Rage was covering, but he didn't quite have the right angle. Yeah, Quit Rage looking good representing Sacramento in the Bay Area tonight. And they're running right. it back. Right, round two, same matchup. Running it right on back. And I think that that is that's a, a good choice on on both sides. I feel like Natty can win the matchup. He just makes makes some questionable decisions with the up smashes and the up bees if he doesn't need to. Still so in. That it, cost him some stocks. But we'll uh, see. Yeah, we, we'll see. I I. I've been really liking a lot of the patience that I'm seeing from Natty, because historically he's been a very aggressive player and he's he's hurt a lot from an excess of aggression. So it's good to see him slowing it down a bit, and uh, a lot of times he's able to to wait until he gets an opening and then really uh, make like good said, on he's it. Waiting for those last jumps of Kirby's to, to get him when he lands. And Kirby's not really doing anything defensive when he lands. He should be down. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Got it. Neutral air. That's true. Oh, he runs away when he still had Angel Invincibility. He could have just powered through it. Pikachu's can't ledge spike, attack. Can't spike That'll Pikachu do it. At that, at that percent, I don't think. I don't think. He's even 
thousands of mistakes. See, that kind of ugly, okay. questionable variety. But can't, uppies and can't be chased. Ooh, forward tilts. The uppy is, if nothing else, safe in, in a lot of situations. You're, you're at least forcing your opponent to do a read. Oh, and sometimes the Reese can get pretty crazy. All right, are we going to see a good Pika combo? Oh, the the, yeah, the DI gets crit yeah, rage out of case, it. Though. Fantastic. Oh, tries to grab him, but I love to see it. some good DI. Tries those back airs, knocks and, him off the platform. And that's the shield break. And what are we going to see? Just goes for the forward smash to clinch it. Kirby starting up a fairly standard uh, sequence, but Natty just getting right back with the LB. Trying to defend with those up tilts. Yes. I've seen Natty go to the top platform a couple times, and I don't think that that's the best option for him in this matchup. I think, I think he, he's trying to go for the down airs. He, we definitely have seen him go in with those. Oh, that quick drop onto the closing tech air. Oh, mm. another, another yeah, bad tech Natty. error. And you see, Quit, Quit, Quit Rage is starting to really pull away in this set. Oh, uh, but Natty is, Natty's in there. Still a full stock. Yeah, one, one got full stock. Got a lot of game to play still. Oh, and there's that clown shoe. Just going right it's through the down air. Oh, yeah, he's this is... Now. He's going to do super break. Yeah, and, and it's off of a lot of stray hits. Yeah, the down air will just send him straight into the drink. Especially at that percent. Absolutely. I feel like that is desperate at this point. But he's not rushing in. He's he's still keep, just keeping his distance. Now he, he definitely has to. Know. Yeah, he's There's no oh, there. And and there you see that downer approach on Kirby he isn't safe. Kirby can just shove a clown shoe in your face. We're, we're starting to see Natty get a little more aggressive now, which is dangerous. Very dangerous, especially since Great Rage has been reading him very well lately. Another called up smash, doesn't and work. And more great DI by Quit Rage going straight out the other end. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Pivot forward smash, very nice. Quit Rage will take all of those trades. At this point, he can easily afford them. It's an age-old fighting game aphorism. When you're ahead, trade until you win. Tried yeah. to go with the Pikachu forward smash. Oak's advice. Oak's advice. Time and place for everything. And that might do it off the top platform there. Yeah, that'll clinch it. Quit rage. Takes it 2-0 over Natty, sending Natty out of the tournament. All right, so let's see what we got coming up for you. Oh, Dunks versus Inferno. Wow. <laughs> this, this, this is nutty. The bay is in it. Dunks apparently has, has leveled up. He's going places that he didn't used to. That back throw didn't take him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's finally found the secret to the back throw. All right. It looks like the Dunks Inferno set just finished up off stream. It'll be interesting to, uh, to hear who took that. Oh, I think their set just ended, actually. Oh, and Dunks over Inferno. He goes up against Blonde Kid. Zero against Inferno. That's absolutely. Insane. Dunks is on fire tonight. I think he might go top four. If he does, that would be pretty fantastic. So he, you know he's working to get higher on that PR. He, he is. He has. I guess I so. Tiger. 